are set out here on the bar just outside the reef um, going that way was where it really starts dropping off comes up to a hump where I'm at and then goes back down and then goes back up to the main reef and then onwards to the, the key, actual keys there um, I just cruised around till I marked some good bottom and then I used my uh, goggles and just kind of looked down and then I found uh, some mangroves and yellowtails so I think it might be a good spot uh, the, the current is really ripping didn't expect that but uh, I was kind of wanting to do some bottom baiting as well so we'll see what happens there uh, hopefully I can get some bait pulled in and uh, get some bait in the box and then I can do some bottom stuff Well, I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's a school of mangrove snappers right underneath me. I've got yellow tails up the chum line, and I think I'm starting to see some bait fish, so I've got a good setup where I'm at. I'm not necessarily interested in catching snappers. Uh, I think today is just a catch and release day, but uh, I do want to see if I could pull on some bigger fish on the anchor here, so we shall see. We're going to start by just dropping back a glass minnows. I prefer ballyhoo. I'll take a, a, a speedo second, but I think I've got blue runners back here in the line. So if I can get those, I would be uh, fine with that as well. Yellow tails can go free. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, see I've got those are, I think the Speedos are the Blue Runners. This I don't need. For these Speedos coming through the line, I'm going to use this light, uh, my uh, bait set up. Cause they just keep rocketing through and hitting these smaller baits. They tend to be a little bit more wary. Man, they're just running up on it and just saying, nope, we can see the you can see that's not it. Yeah, those are the baits that I want. There we go. There we go. I got really light leader, light uh, drag. This is going to be bait. Little blue runner, I'm gonna chunk them up, put put them on the bottom. I also gonna put one on a bulb on the uh, balloon and uh, float it back there. This one's gonna be chunk bait. And that's a perfect size to put on a balloon, so I'm gonna get my other rod ready for that. Okay, made a big strip bait. That blue runner. So I'm gonna drop this down. See what we can pick up. It's a bit early to do a bottom rod, but uh, I only brought the one block of chum, so I'm kind of rushing things. All right, 
we are on the bottom. Hopefully it'll stick. And now we just wait. Not very big, whatever it is. Oh yeah, that's my mangroves I was looking for. Nice one. And those are the boys we're looking for. So these are the mangroves we're looking for out on the reef. The monster yellowtail I got on my uh, bait rod it's got like a 9 or 14 size hook. Not even the long shank one, just a... Damn, this one might deserve to go home. I got like six pound leader, that tiny hook. Woo wee! Nice! Look at the hook that I'm using on it. Look at the size of that hook. And that's the piece of bait as well. But that is the hook that I'm using. And that's the exact piece of bait that it hit it on. I just had it sitting out there along the uh, top. Damn! Man, look at that. Small baits, small hooks, big fish. That is a beautiful yellowtail. It's even got like a dolphin head. Alright, so I changed my mind. I was going to go catch and release only, but that deserves a stay. So that deserves a catch and cook. I don't know what I'll do with it, but nice. Well, I'm going to call it a day. I mean, <laughs> conditions wise, it is like perfect for getting out and about and doing anything you want uh, unfortunately a lot of times days like this the fish don't necessarily like it uh, and that clarity level is just way too good so trying to get them on the baits was really difficult but then again I really didn't see much I, I got those tons of blue runners around me but that whole afternoon I caught two blue runners and I constantly tried for them so that really put the hamper on uh, baiting up and trying to catch other things I mean, got a good mangrove. I could see him down there. I just didn't have anything to give him. Uh, and that nice yellowtail was just a fluke with that uh, bait rig that I just left out. But uh, I caught stuff, I guess. Uh, don't know. I got to cook that thing up, make this a short, quick catch and cook. Uh, I think tomorrow I'm going to start shifting and just say screw the Atlantic side and head off to the, uh, the Gulf side, maybe take some time and see what the uh, last conditions are uh, yeah so we'll see you tomorrow but anyways thanks for watching uh, check out the catch and cook right after this originally I wasn't planning on doing a catch and cook so I was just releasing everything but then when you get a hold of a nice two-footer uh, yellowtail you got to do something with it so since it's about midnight I'm gonna go ahead and just clean this up probably flay it out and then uh, come up with another one of those quickie lunch specials. So that's the plan. So I've got those fillets from yesterday off of that uh, two footer yellow tail. Um, I didn't really feel like staying up all night and doing a uh, catch and cook. So I figured I'll do it something for lunch. Um, those I'll try to cut down and make them really basic streamlined since lunch you gotta be quick and easy. So that's what we're gonna be working on today. And for our recipe, we're going to be using these Top Ramen. For our Top Ramen lunch, we're just going to spice it up a bit. Uh, I'm going to use two packs of Top Ramen, but I'm only going to use one of the flavor packs. Then I'm replacing that flavor pack with kind of just an Asian concoction. 
which means going into the refrigerator and the cupboard and grabbing any Asian sauces and spices that you've got. So I went with soy sauce, sesame oil, ginger, uh, garlic, and a little bit of brown sugar. Then I've got the fish fingers from the yellowtail. I've got some uh, hard boiled eggs, some tofu, some kimchi, and some green onions. Oh, and some uh, toasted sesame seeds for the finale. All right, we've got everything ready. Got our top ramen. Uh, did the two batches. Instead of two or four cups of water, I just did three cups because I've got my sauce that I'm going to add to it. That's our Asian fusion there. I didn't have, actually didn't have any chopsticks, so went out and made some. Just kind of mix that up a bit. Then we're just going to add our extra ingredients here to kind of spice it up. Kind of restaurant style where you just get all the fixins and then you need to mix it up. Then our nice fish fingers. That's good. Hit it with some sesame seeds. Don't really need to add any salt. I probably would do some peppers. Ooh, I know what we need to add. Be right back. Ah, uh, cannot miss that. Some nice sriracha. And there we go. That's what's for lunch. So that's what's for lunch. Uh, you can get those top ramen packs, um, six of them for a dollar. That's crazy. But then again, just eating them by themselves is not so great. Definitely will give the uh, mm. the hotel snapper fingers with a little bit of sriracha. So, anyways, I'm going to chow down. I got a conference call in a bit. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that quick and easy. My little lunch series. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. Bye.